So guys, I'm back with another video. This video is gonna be about pride. The title of this video is Let Your Pride Go. Like, if you want the Holy Spirit to reveal stuff to you, you need to let the pride go, bro. Let it go. God will reveal himself to you through this book. The problem is, uh, many of you guys know this book's real. Some of you guys know that Jesus is coming back soon. But you guys love your sin so much, you guys don't want to submit. That's your problem. You guys don't want to submit to God. Like in James chapter 4, verse 6, glory to God. We're going to read in, in, the, in, the, in under the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In James chapter 4, verses 6. If you guys have your Bibles, open up to James chapter 4. Glory to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Well, I can't believe I got another mosquito bites, but you know, these mosquitoes don't be biting people during the fall, bro. Are you serious, bro? James chapter 4, verse 5, 6 says, But he gave more grace. Wherefore, he said, God recepted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God. And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Glory to God. Like, the only reason I title this, let your pride go, because many of you guys, many people has pride over here. I'm going to talk about pride later on because that's the biggest sin in the church. A lot of Christians don't like to be, they don't like, they don't like to be corrected. They're like, no, 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 don't correct me. Don't correct me. Don't correct me. Like, I did a mistake earlier. I told somebody I was going to fast. And a sister in Christ told me, Brian, don't tell people when you're fasting, man. Uh, and yes, maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that next time. But here, like a lot of people, sis, Anybody who's watching me, I don't know who's watching me, or Narlan and um, Jomi. Here, let me show you guys something. I had a dream that was in my house, right? You know this thing? All of this. It was flooded. I got a tsunami dream. I have a dream that there was a tsunami hitting California. All of this was flooded, guys. All this. And people were screaming, crying out to God, crying out to mercy. And I heard somebody say my name. I'm sorry, Brian. I don't know who was it. And guess what? The tsunami didn't hit here. It hit everything except here. And look at what Acts chapter 16. The book of Acts. The book of Acts chapter 16 verses 31. Because even before I received this dream, a sister from church told me, Brian, your house is going to be saved. Even a friend of mine told me, that if I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, I shall be saved, me and my house, according to Acts 16, 31. Glory to God. And I had, two, I had a dream about the coronavirus vaccine, and a lot of people don't believe me. Some people even think that I made it up. That I made it all up. Why would I want to make something up, guys? Why would I want to make uh, about me getting... Because I was about to get killed for refusing that. And that's why I don't want to put no flu, no, no, no vaccines at all. I, I fear the Lord. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So, because I believe in Jesus Christ, maybe this is why the tsunami didn't hit my home. I don't know if it's going to come to pass. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know, guys. I don't know if the tsunami is going to come. A lot of people, including myself, had a dream. Really? Yeah, it's in my YouTube channel, sister. I might make another another part two in my YouTube channel. Yes, I got a tsunami about the vaccine and the tsunami. Yes, that was like... The tsunami dream was... I believe I received it last year. Or on somewhere between the end of January or the beginning of February. I forgot when. But the only reason I didn't make it public... I just make it public till now. Because I, I wasn't too sure with prophetic dreams. I wasn't too sure. You know? But, like... Yeah. 
I don't remember when, sister. Yes, I'm okay, sis. I'm just explaining to people that a lot of people are, pr are too prideful. Like, a lot of people even think I'm making that stuff up. No, I'm not. Like, it's up to you. You want to believe me or not, bro. But, if you take the mark of the beast, that's it, bro. Hellfire awaits you. I'm done warning you. It's up to you. I'm going to upload this video on YouTube. And those of you guys who see me, you guys are not, not going to have no excuse on Judgment Day. It's up to you. I, 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 why you got to tell God on Judgment Day? Oh, no, I thought Brian was lying, Lord. I thought Brian was lying. Dude. I fear the Lord so much. If I was lying, I would have been dead right now. Because you don't play with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit still drops people dead to this day. I fear God so much. Like, bro, I got to take care of my eyes. Like, a few days ago, like, there's this woman who I know. Her auntie. I went to her house to go pick up something. Her auntie and her mom weren't home. I was tempted to ask her to be my girlfriend. I'm like, no, 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 no. In my head. I'm like, Lord, forgive me. But if if her auntie was there, I would have stayed at her home. But her since her auntie wasn't there, what, what does this have to do with what I'm talking about? I I fear God. Like I could have I could have done something stupid with her yesterday. But since I I had the fear of the Lord, I decided to leave. I'm like, well, um, I'm not gonna tell you her name. I told her that um that I gotta go. And she told me, Oh, that quick, Brian? I'm like, yeah, I gotta I got I gotta go eat, which I did. I wasn't lying at all. I went preaching and then I went to eat. I fear God so much, guys. Like, like a lot of people think that I'm too religious. I, I don't care what you call me. Okay, mine was. Wow. Mine was a little bit different, sister. Mine's. I was like in the middle of nowhere. Looked at it like a FEMA camp. But the FEMA camp looked at it like a hospital, like a mental hospital. Like, I saw people screaming. I saw people dropping dead the moment they took this vaccine. But of course, that's going to be for a different video. I'm talking about pride over here. Because you need to let the pride go, folks. Like, the problem is, you guys don't... You, do you know? You do you want to know why many people don't like this Bible? Do you know why? Because people are prideful. Like... And also, please keep my sister in prayer. I'm not going to tell you her name over here. Yeah, exactly. I will never like lie to people, even unbelievers. Like, I don't know if my family believe. I told my family about the dream. I don't know if they believe me. I don't know if they do, but it's up to them. You know, I already warned them. Maybe the Lord wants me to warn them. Like, I, 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 I stopped preaching to my sister. She's 21. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you her name. Sorry, guys. I just, yeah, but she wants evidence. She wants evidence of what I talk about. I'm like, listen. I don't have to give you any evidence what the Lord reveals to me at all. It's your homework to humble yourself and ask God if I'm lying or not. But of course, you need to be you need to be humble. If you want the Lord to be like, um, Lord, is Brian lying to me? Go ask him. Like, don't take my words for it, bro. Or says whoever is watching me right now, but ask the Lord to give you confirmation. Like about this woman I want to pursue. You know, I had a dream about her that we I went, we went to church, but um. Again, like, I could, I'm not going to get into a lot of details. I know her from high school. Switching a little bit of the subject. But, I'm like, no, I, I can't do nothing dumb with her because I'm a Christian and no. Now, I don't, I think, I don't think you could lose your salvation at all. Like, <laughs> like, it's not serious, bro. Like, if you lose it, you were never safe to begin with. But that's not the case. The case is, I don't feel comfortable being with a female alone in my room. If I were to visit you, sister, you better have somebody with you, your brother, your half-brother or whatever. But if you're alone in your home, I am go I, I'm not going inside. Definitely no. Why? Because I had the fear of God inside of me. I had the fear of God. Like God gifted me with his fear. Sure. I'll pray, I'll pray for that too. Like, because, you know, us young people, we could get tempted. You know, sometimes like the flesh gets so weak and that, you know, I don't want to fall. Like a lot of people think I'm over religious because like when I go to the mall, I pass by Victoria's Secret. And there was like a woman with, no, there were like three women with miniskirts. I watched, but at the moment that I watched them, I, I did this. I was walking to this. And I was about to trip and fall in the mall. But the Bible says, you know, Jesus said that you look upon a woman with lust in your heart, you committed adultery. And I'm like, heck no. I ain't looking at you. Like, 
Well, you know, it's not my fault, you know? Well, I'm not gonna over exaggerate either, no. I'm gonna look up, but like, I just rather not look back. I'd rather not to. I don't know if Victoria's Secret is satanic. A lot of people told me it is. I really don't know. I can tell you that. Because, um, but yes, guys, just, if you want the Holy Spirit to reveal stuff to you, be humble. Let go of your pride. And that's the problem. You unbelievers, you guys are not, you guys are blind. That's the problem. You guys are blinded by the devil. And of course, you guys trust science. You guys trust the news. You guys trust the media. And the, all those things are run by the devil. All those things are run by Satan. Like according to 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, he is the God of this world. Well, of course, you guys are not ready for that conversation. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like... I'm like that, bro. Like, my sister was telling me that, that I'm religious or something. Like, what? No, no, no. She didn't tell me I'm religious. She just told me I exaggerate a lot. Huh? Because I fear God. That's why I exaggerate. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I guess I fear, uh, because I fear God, I exaggerate a lot. Okay. That's fine. That's your opinion, bro. That's your opinion. But, yeah. Like, guys, I even had to... People are just so freaking blind, sister. <laughs> even Christians are deceived. Like, yeah, Christians keep believing in that lie. Keep, keep believing. Keep believing. <laughs> Trump is. A... Yeah. Yeah, the Pope is the Antichrist. The Pope is child of the devil. As long as Joe Biden, all those people are children of the devil. I don't care you know, if anybody wants to cast stones on me. Go ahead. The Pope is evil. And he's going to burn in hell unless he repents. Yeah, he thinks that everyone's a child of God. No. And like, you know. Yeah, everybody loves the Pope. Even my family members are deceived. Like, they think that we Christians are responsible. Like, okay. You guys be saying, for you unbelievers out there, you guys are saying that us Christians are the, are the plague of this world because... You guys get infected. You guys are already infected. It's called sin. People are infected with sin. Sin is the biggest pandemic. But of course, people love their sin so much. That's a problem. Your pride's a sin. Hello? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. If you're a child of God, you're saved by grace through faith. According to Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And you are going to live a life of obedience and repentance and holiness unto God. Yes, exactly, sister. Exactly. No, I'm sorry that I... I, I wasn't laughing at you. I was laughing at the Christians who think Trump's a Christian. Like, I think Trump's going to deceive a lot of... I don't know. I used to hate Trump because I was a Democrat back in the day. But, I mean, the, my job as Christian is to pray for him. And no, I'm not gonna go. Well, I don't care if anybody says that I'm not a true American. I don't care, bro. Say whatever you want about me. I don't care. I don't care if people say I'm not a real American. Yeah, woe well unto him. And woe well unto Trump if he betrays us. A lot of people say, no, Brian, he's not, he's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna shut the Christians up. That's what they're trying to do, dude. Like, People are using this COVID thing. The government is using it. I'm going I'm to remove this. They're using this COVID thing just to shut the Christian churches. Mark my words. We're going to get we're gonna get shut down in a second. In a second. We're, we are going to get shut down. Our Bibles are going to get banned. Mark my words and I guarantee you. And if you don't believe me, please ask the Lord for confirmation. I mean, I, I dreamed that I was, I was about to get killed twice. That's why I want to know if somebody had a dream about me. If you had a dream about me, please tell me. Please let me know. Oh, church was good, sister. Or brother, I don't know what you are. Brother or sister. Church was good, yes. A lot of my followers want to be uh, going to my church. Which is a blessing. Glory to God. But yes, like, people are young. Like, that's a problem. Pride. People are infected by pride. Pride's a sin. Pride's a huge sin, bro. I'm going to have to talk about pride because even some pastors are prideful and their pride is going to send them to hellfire. They don't like to be corrected by the scriptures. 
like, and I even ask Lord, like, Lord, forgive me if I say something unbiblical. Like, you know, this is why I don't like to post about pre-trip, post-trip, um, mid-trip, once I always say, just uh, all this stuff because a lot of people are just, you know, are calling me a heretic, they're calling me a false prophet, but that's fine, that's your opinion. And if, if you think I'm a false prophet, first of all, bro, my question to you, if I'm a false prophet, why, why was I prophesying? I don't remember the Lord telling me something, or I don't remember the Lord speaking through me, but if you're claiming I'm a false prophet, then... What was I prophesying? That's my question. What was I prophesying? Yeah. People are just so deceived. That's the problem. The unbelievers are asleep. And it makes me so sad. They're like, guys, that's just when they go preaching in town or whatever. I beg people to repent. Sometimes I be begging people. To repent, I know I'm not supposed to do that, but like, I just don't want, I just don't want one more soul to go to hell. So, for those of you guys, yes, for you family members, I, I appreciate you guys' concern about me, about my health. Yes, I have asthma, but I know if I die of it, I'm gonna go home with the Lord. But of course, unless I don't think the Lord really, yeah, keep burning the Bibles, Caddy. Keep burning those Bibles up, you're gonna get in big trouble with God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Cali. You're in big trouble with God. I'm telling you, California. You're in big, big trouble with God. For burning our Bibles, shame on you. Shame on you. Yes, I wanna go home too. Like, every time I hear people, oh yeah, sin is growing. Just like you guys be like, Brian, COVID 19 is growing. Like, when I hear about COVID, guys, I skip it. I skip COVID-19. I, I, I call it COVID-19 crap. I call it COVID crap 19 or COVID crap 19. COVID 19 crap because I'm, I'm so tired of hearing about this dang virus every single day, bro. Like, come on, bro. Let's talk about something else. Like, who, who got married? I want to know who got married. I want to know who, who, who repented, who, 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 um, who, be, who got converted to Christianity. That's what I want to know. I, I don't want to know about who got infected. I mean, I feel sorry for those who got infected by COVID, but I think you guys are making a huge deal out of it. People die of sin every day, but you guys don't make a huge deal out of it. That's a problem. Exactly. Exactly, Jazz. Exactly, Nerlan. Exactly, Jomi. Exactly, guys. Miles, whoever who's watching me right now. Yeah. And people are saying it's climate change, bro. There's no such thing as climate change. It's God's judgment. But you guys are not ready for that conversation. That's the problem because you guys are so prideful and deceived and blind. That's the problem. But your descendants is gonna send you to hellfire. Anyone's watching me right now? I don't like to. I don't, listen, it's the Lord who leads me. I don't like talking about hell either. I don't want to talk about hell, but I have to talk about it. I have to talk about sin. I don't like talking about those things. But I can show you the I can show you the word of God for you guys. I can't. So yes, guys, let your pride go. Humble yourself before God. You know. And later on, Lord wedding, I'm gonna make an exhortation on fake pastors. Uh, I might dress up one day. I don't know. Should I? Should I dress up and wear a tie or not? Or it's up to me. <laughs> I love dressing up for the Lord. That's all. I'm not holier than or modest than anybody else. I, that's just my style. Dressing up, you know, that's just me. When I exhort those pastors, the ones who are using their gifts for the for money, you don't do that. You don't do that, bro. What's wrong with you? You're gonna charge somebody one hundred dollars to get healed? Like, are you serious? Are you freaking serious? You gotta use the what God gave you for money? If so, then you're out of your mind. You are sick of your head, and you need to repent. You do. So yes, sister. Um, yes, guys. I did receive this dream about COVID nineteen vaccine and the tsunami vaccine. Oh, oh so tsunami dream. I'm mean, so sorry about that, guys. Of course. Some people told me that I like to record myself to show up. No, I don't. Don't hear my mom. She tells me that YouTube and Instagram live is only for people who have nothing to do. I was going to do something in the morning, but I don't want you guys to think that I don't have nothing better to do with my life. I don't have a life. I don't have a life. 
If you think I don't have the life, then something's wrong with you. You don't live with me. That's your problem. You're full of pride and you hate me. That's a problem. That's your problem, bro. You're full of pride. Oh, I thought somebody was coming. Never mind. I was about to say hello. Yeah, exactly. But um, yes, guys. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't record myself in a tie and a suit so I could, so I could look fancy for you guys. I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here to. Uh, I dress up for the Lord, for the Lord Jesus Christ. But yeah. Yes, guys. Let the pride go. Humble yourself and cry out to Jesus, please, guys. Please do because we're living in the end times. If you guys don't believe me about the dreams that I had. Ask the Lord to reveal them to you. But humble yourself. Stop doubting. Stop saying, oh no. He's gonna, yes, the Lord's gonna reveal them to you when he has when he wants to, not when you want to. I've been asking him for more confirmation, but I I, I don't. So guys, if you guys receive a dream about me, please let me know. That there's a lot of people who are telling me that in their dreams, I was speaking in tongues. I'm like, what? Some people even say that I, I was speaking in tongues in my sleep. But I don't know if I was speaking in tongues or not. I don't know. Maybe I was speaking in tongues in my sleep. I don't know, guys. I don't know. If, what was I doing in my sleep? Speaking in tongues or prophesying? I don't know. I don't know. Like, in here, two people told me that I'm going to be laying hands on people. That that's my gift. Well, no. The Lord gave me this gift. But, like, again, you know, I did receive anointing from him back in 2018. But... I just want to know for sure, you know, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to do this by emotions. I want to do it. I want to be led by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. But, yes, if any of you guys had a dream about me, please tell me. I don't care what is it. I don't care what kind of dream you had about me. Please let me know, guys. I need to know. I need more confirmation of what the Lord wants me to do. Because I, I want to know what, what are His purposes for me. Like, all I know is that I survived the tsunami. I don't know if the Lord wants me out of Cali. I mean, I'm tired of Cali. I don't know what that sign means. I don't know if he wants me to leave. Because, I mean, I don't, I'm not in the position to move out. I'm not because, you know, we don't have any money to move to somewhere else. Because Cali is wicked, guys. Like, I don't know how long the Lord wants to keep me here, but only he knows, bro. Only he knows. Only he knows. I don't know how long am I going to stay here, guys, but, yeah. Only he knows what's good for me and what's not good for me. But anyways, guys, I'm going to charge my phone. It was nice talking to you guys. And um, all glory to God, guys, all right? God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.